Yeah, I like the little river that runs underneath the bridge. This is too hard. I've gathered you all here today to help me judge the tarantula cat enclosure build off. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link the video down below, but basically I just ask people to put together their best enclosures and submit them through a hashtag on Instagram. And there are lots of submissions for us to go through. So I don't think we're actually going to be able to individually go through every single one of them, but we're gonna do our best. I've been trying to purposely avoid this hashtag. I am following it on Instagram, but every time one pops up, I just kind of scroll by really quick because I did want this to be more of a genuine reaction from us. And have you haven't looked at any of them. Oh, have I haven't seen nothing. Yeah, so he's not really on the internet much at all, but he, he does have an art Instagram. He's He's been doodling and stuff. So if you want to check him out, it's uh, I'll put his uh, info right here. This is going to be really hard. So basically today we are picking three winners, three enclosures that we like the best. One of those will be the grand prize winner of the mushroom here. And then the other two will go home with some stickers and stuff like that. But I need your guys' help because there's no way I can pick one. Oh, and also before we get into it, if you want to have cool merch like this, or this, check out my Teespring. I'm gonna actually do a sale, I think, this week. Let's do a uh, code bugs gets you 10% off for the whole week. So go get some spring merch and save 10% this week. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this right off the bat. I have seen this one actually, super cool. We've got some spooky ones too. I love the background that's going on on this. You probably I like, like the decor too. Yeah, I figured you would. It's all the spooky stuff. See how they took a picture closer up in there and I see yeah. the little 3D printed ghost. Hey, I like the ghost. Yeah. yeah. And the gravestone, or the tombstones. I wonder if that ghost, if they 3D printed it or if they got it from the Bearded Shrimp. That's where I got mine. This one's crazy. This reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, I was, I was getting something yeah. that had her tea party vibes. This is for a P. Armenia, so a tarantula. Oh my God, there's so many. Look at this big wolf spider. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, the Cubone head skull. That looks like a happy wolf spider. This is so hard. Oh my God. Oh. This one? Or I know which one you're looking at. Yeah. We'll look at that one next. But this, <laughs> I saw this one and I've got to say, really loving the fall vibes, the, the mushroom. The butterflies. Yeah. Well. Okay, this is the one, Mr. Tarantula Cat. I knew immediately he was into it. Yeah, this is the queen xenomorph. Oh, and they even got blaster rifles down there too. Are you guys alien or predator? Cause I actually prefer the aliens. But. I, I like them both, but I'm, I'm a predator fan. But uh, John Carpenter's The Thing is far more terrifying. <laughs> oh yeah, we just watched The Thing. They've got a video going on too. Close up. What is this for? Oh, it's for a female Indian ornamental. That's pretty sick. I bet she webbed the crap out of it already. Oh, wow. Oh, that's neat. That is like super Very naturalistic. T. Albo. Okay, so this is for a curly hair. Man, you would never find the tarantula in there. <laughs> this one's really cool. It's spooky. They actually made this. Like everything was coated in Mod Podge. I use mostly what is laying around the house. The heart and the glass I made out of sculpting clay. I want to do something like this. There's so many. Oh Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to look at. This one's really cool with the pumpkins and the mushrooms. And of course it's for, oh, is that for a Hapalopus Formosus sling? Formosus, okay, did they change? Ah, they did, that's what I, I was kind of confused about. So they changed the Hapalopus species Columbia to Hapalopus Formosus. But hey, we all learned together today. If you didn't know, now, now you also know. Oh, I like the little houses. And it the is. background too, it's very fitting. Very Hobbit inspired. Oh, oh yeah, because it's got the Shire back there. I see it now. What's it from a movie? It's the Lord of the Rings. Orlando Bloom. You should have been like, and Smeagol's in that movie. <laughs> oh, precious. <laughs> Eventually will house their juvenile Phidippus adox a jumping spider when it gets bigger. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I want to like fill up a jumping spider enclosure like this. Like this is. It's almost like floating blocks from like um, like Avatar and stuff like that. Or, or even like Minecraft. Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. I love this, oh my gosh. That is so cool, is that real? It looks like real moss and a real plant and everything. That is so beautiful. Oh, I guess this is a spider. The yeah. Habitant. The, I think that this is uh, definitely 
one for competition. And this is really pretty too. Uh, Lovely Spoods, they also did the Monarch one. I did not say that you could only enter one. I didn't specify, so it's fair game. Really, really pretty. It's almost like I did a yellow mushroom enclosure, but I think theirs looks better. I, I need to learn how to fill up and use the space more like this, but I'm afraid of making it look too cluttered. I, I don't wanna, it's such a fine line between a lot and too much. Mm -hmm. And I need to find that balance because this enclosure like definitely demonstrates it. Most of these are jumping spider enclosures. I like that plant in the front, very cool. Let's see. Oh my gosh, there's this little mushroom one too. Oh, that's really nice. I wonder where, oh wow. It's got a little tire swing in it. Yeah, <laughs> but that lighting looks great. Oh, and that even looks good too. Yeah, that's cool. Little, mu little village. What is this yellow thing in here? Oh. A bird! Another build with live plants. Took a page out of the dark den. Boo! Boo! I'm just kidding. Modded a Ferrero Rocher box into a sling enclosure. Let's keep going. Oh my god, there's so many. This one looks like very modern. That's so cool, it has a doll arm in it. <laughs> it looks like similar to like the decor around here too. It's I cool. know. <laughs> it would fit in here. Spooder space. Oh, that one's pretty cool. Now, they're a professional. <laughs> I've gotta say, I think this is going in the top three as well. Backlit jumping spider enclosure. Um, this, is, this is unique, look at that. Oh, that's cool. It's for a wolf spider, but... It's a Lego underwater theme. Yeah, they said they're gonna put the wolf spider in a bigger enclosure soon. What I would do is, well, wolf spiders really like substrate, so I would do like a bunch of substrate, but this would be perfect for like a jumping spider. So if you don't have a jumping spider, when you rehouse your wolf spider, you should totally put a jumping spider in there because that's so cool. And this is from the same person. I love this one. It looks like a pet room. It is. It <laughs> says, this is my cat room enclosure build for my Fidipus Adox. That is Perfect. So I guess you do have a jumping spider then. <laughs> this one, I recognize this decor from Etsy, that Jack. And all the little mushrooms. Yeah, so, so cute. This is really cool too. Oh, it's got the little knitted hive. Yeah, it's like a basket up in the corner. And a lace bridge. I did get this lace and I've been trying to put that in enclosures more. I love it. That's such a good cheap idea to decorate jumping spider enclosures. We do have like some of these mushroom builds going on. Grimace stole polka slings. That's so cool. Oh. I see it right there. It almost blends in. It blends in really yeah. well. This is cool, look at that. For Spook, Spook is a juvenile Pia Dox from Colorado. This is Spook's garden, complete with flowers, a temple, a rope ladder, and a healthy scattering of bones. I could live there. If you see one you want me to stop on, tell me to stop. Cause there's like a lot I oh, wanna I, stop. I mean, I look at all of these. This one's really pretty. That one's cool. I, so I like I like the ones that are set up kind of like almost like fairy gardens and stuff like that, where it's especially with like the little door that's in that the side of the tree. But what my favorite part is the twisty sticks. And you see way back there is the- The little jumping spider. Way back there. <laughs> <laughs> that jumping spider has lots of space. Was its name Pixie? Yeah, they got it down there. Oh, this one's kind of spooky. It's got a witch's broom. I really like the simple ones too. It's so hard because I love the little cluttered ones where there's like stuff everywhere and it's like a little forest almost. And then I really like the simple ones that are like more modern and you know, I don't know, I, they're, they're great. These are all so good. This is cool, it looks like they made this out of a... Um, a terrestrial. Remember those boxes I used to get, like model car boxes and I would put holes in them? Yeah. It looks like that's what they did. I bet a wolf spider loves that enclosure. Lots of places to hide. Yeah, ooh, that's cool. Yeah, I like how it looks like a little tree. Like oh, little that looks so tree. cool. Look, and on the bottom they have like little bunk beds and stuff. A little room. Oh, that's so cute. It's like a tree oh, Hogwarts. house. It's Hogwarts. Oh. It's Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, so it's right there, Harry Potter. Thing. I didn't read that. <laughs> I'm bad about reading the description. That's pretty cool. I like the little bees. That's and really the cool. Hive. They made the enclosure, the, you know, put all the decor together. They probably made this little terracotta hide pot at the top, which that is a great idea. I need some of those with like magnets and just, you know. Oh, this is another one that I really like. That's really nice. It's so simple, so clean. It's appropriate for the jumping spider. Let's see the, the globe one. It's kind of cool. Oh, is it like a fish tank, like terrarium or like what? It... From a bio orb fish tank. So it looks like they repurposed a fish yeah. tank for it. That's pretty cool. That's really nice. Yeah, I love that. Then it's got the little stepping stones to go. That's what I the like. Mushroom house. Yeah, I put the little stepping stones in my toads enclosure. Okay, this is awesome. I love 
this like um, lace. I forget what it's called, but I see a lot of people using them for jumping spiders and it's awesome. Like really cool look. You probably like this little guy. I love the little reaper. And I like the pumpkin with the witch's head as well too. I'm a big Halloween fan. Well, we both are. <laughs> I really like this one. Very nice and homey with the little birdhouse. Yeah, very, and it's for a jumping spider. And it's the little perfect. rocks down at the bottom. Yeah, it's little super fish tank cute. Gravel. I really like this one too. I saw this one a while ago. Like, like fake lavender? Yeah, and I just bought fake lavender to make an enclosure with like recently. And when I saw this, I was like, oh, that's awesome. So this is for a P. Metallica sling. That's awesome. That one's pretty cool. Yeah, I like the scatter. The leaf litter and the piece of amethyst up there. What, what about this? What's that? Uh, that is uh, Decepticon. Uh, which one specifically? I don't know. Area 51 top secret facility. That's for a Trepepi in Trepepi. Very cool. Ooh, look at that bridge. Periphidipus audax spec. Made for a P. Metallica. Well, I like those little mushrooms down there. Oh, that is so cool. I didn't even see those. Yeah. It's it looks just a little bit of off color. Yeah, and it looks like they um, have uh like a bioactive thing going on too on the bottom but i think the plants are fake oh my goodness i think we're actually at the bottom i think that's it we kind of scrolled through all of them this one's really cool too yeah i like the little river that runs underneath the bridge this is too hard okay so there was also some instagram reels that i saw i'm not sure what the copyright situation looks like on these welcome to the little woodland forest i created for my jumping spider stormy she's a phytopus octopunctus octopunctus i think she likes it it's <laughs> really cute it. I can't do copyright music. <laughs> I'll go back and look at it though. That's cool. This has like a deer. A wolf it was it? I think there's a wolf many, and that's a deer. I like the bright colors. That's really pretty. This is a bunch of enclosures. Oh, I saw a picture of I like these. All of them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, but it's overwhelming when you post that many together. It's like I can't. I can't. Yeah. We saw that one. This one's really, really cool. I love that. And then we have this. I know there was like another like Star Wars one. Remember I sent you it? Oh, the one with the, uh. Oh, I don't know. Um, oh, here it is. Okay, so we have a hard decision. I'm gonna go through all of these again. I'm gonna go on my Instagram app and go through them again myself and just make sure I didn't miss any, make sure I've seen them all, click through all of them, and then we will have some conversations and uh, announce the top three for you guys to vote. Okay, hold on. The first uh, we are going to pick is the Spooter Space Mushroom one. They hand painted every mushroom, they made this bridge, and, and it's so, so pretty. And it's like very original. Second entry, I I picked this one from AP Solon. I really love how they used this Tarantula Cribs canopy, like how they used up all the space and they're gonna put their jumping spider in it. This jumping spider is gonna be so freaking happy. There's so many places for it to jump, explore, and for a spider that, you know, has vision and, you know, is active, this is gonna be an amazing playground. Like, it's great. It looks great and it's very good for the spider. So, like, that is one thing I said I was looking for was it to look nice, but also for for it to be appropriate for the spider and this is like probably the best you can do for a jumping spider and then mr tarantula cat picked this one from it's potato ash it's potato ash um which i really like this one too but he it's like his favorite i think he really liked all of them but what has me sold is the vines but i think you liked all the decor really too well all of it together it makes you want to look around and the vines and stuff direct you towards another spot. And then, I mean, it's it's great for the jumping spider too. In that last picture, the jumping spider is on the lamp and it, it's got a lot of space in there, a lot of places to jump and hang out and it looks adorable. So yeah, I agree. I think that is definitely one of the best. So we've got our top three. Congratulations to the three that 
uh, made it and congratulations to everybody else those enclosures look great I love all of them I wish I could sit there and like give you guys all like a prize and like sit there and like talk about every single one of them but that's just not not possible with the time restraints and everything um, however uh, we'll go ahead and put together a poll and I want you guys to vote we're gonna keep voting open for the number one spot until let's do April 20 6th april 26th that's about a week a week and a day depending on when this video goes up so yeah let's let's go vote and congratulations and of course the top three none of you guys are leaving empty-handed i will contact you guys over instagram to at minimum get stickers out to you and yeah thank you guys so much um like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget i've been subscribing to probably way too much it's at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there i also have a patreon podcast and a teespring code bugs gets you 10 percent off this week uh but yeah let's get into the Patreon pet picks. <laughs>